Though typhoid fever is a routine diagnosis, few clinical errors can turn it into a disaster. In today's video, I am going to share with you five key clinical tips that every young doctor should follow while treating this fever so as to avoid the common clinical pitfalls. Before starting this video, I would like to tell you that if you have come for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. So friends, let's start the video. So the first tip is always confirm the diagnosis. Many patients come with fever and Vidal test report, but we know that there are many false positives in Vidal test and the Vidal test is mainly an unreliable test. Instead, you should see for the clinical signs like step ladder pattern fever, coated tongue, relative bradycardia, and the abdominal symptoms and if the patient comes in the first week then you should go for the blood culture which is a gold standard investigation and the second tip is choose your antibiotics wisely be antibiotic smart nowadays there is lot of resistance for ciprofloxacin and this drug is not useful now if the patient has to be treated on the opd basis and the disease is mild then even azithromycin can work the first line drug for the patient who is admitted and having a moderate to severe type of disease in that case safe track zone is a best choice and if the disease is severe or the uh, typhoid is of mdr or xdr type then you have to go for the meropenem and tgcycline but always use these higher antibiotics wisely now the third tip is never ignore gi complications there can be GI complications like ileal perforation or GI bleeding, especially in the second or the third week. So if the patient comes with GI bleeding, abdominal distension or signs of peritonitis, then it is a surgical emergency and you have to refer patient to the surgeon. Early surgical reference can save the life. Before going to the next clinical tip, I would like to tell you that I have started memberships on my channel. If you really want to upgrade your knowledge, then you can check those memberships by clicking on the join button. So now let's go to our next clinical tip. And the fourth tip is always maintain the hydration and nutrition. Here supportive care matters. A typhoid fever patient is weak, dehydrated and often malnourished and malnourishment always delays healing. So always be generous on IV fluids, give ORS and encourage patient to have a light and soft diet and avoid fat containing diet and you have to also monitor the electrolytes and the last but not the least is the fifth tip that is always educate your patient and ask for follow -up. ask patient to complete the antibiotic course sometimes the patient feels okay and he stops the antibiotic. This creates resistance. So always encourage patient to complete their antibiotic course. Then secondly, ask them to maintain a proper hygiene so as to avoid the secondary infections. Then also ask them to have a regular follow-up. In the follow-up, we may have to repeat certain investigations and to confirm if there is a resolution or not and always ask them to report if there any complication or relapse of fever. So friends, these are the five important clinical tips that one should remember while managing a patient of typhoid fever. If you find today's video helpful, give it a like, share with your friends and do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. So see you in the next video. Till then, thank you.